everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope that you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you're having a good start to the month. For any personal bookings, you can check the description box of the video. You can also find the link to my other channels in case you're interested to look into that. Um, so I'm back with another reading. The topic for today's reading is Messages from Lord Krishna. And this is going to be a coffee cup reading. You can choose basis the cups that you see in front of you or the images. So group number one, this is your cup. And if you want to choose with the image, that's going to be your image. And group number two, that's your cup. And if you want to choose with the image, then that's your image. So if you need time, take your time. You can pause the video accordingly and choose the option you want to listen to. In case you want to listen to the whole video and then take whatever resonates with you, again, that's your call. So I'm starting with group number one. So hello, group number one. Whosoever chose this cup or this beautiful image, this is going to be your reading. So I'm going to start with your cup first and I'll keep the image on the side for now. So let's see. What are the messages for you today from our dear Lord Krishna? I'm already getting the I'm already getting that Shri Krishna is giving you strength in a situation something that has been very challenging for you something where you feel oh my god I'm not going to be able to do it anymore I just can't it's taking a lot out of me and I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this. So I think there is a situation in life where you feel your strength is being tested. So Krishna is giving you strength in a situation. He's telling you to get up and fight back. He's telling you to get up and keep going. He's giving you a blessing of strength here, okay? That's for sure something I'm channeling. Yeah. I'm getting the vision of a koi fish when I'm focusing there. Koi fish, uh, I see it as... For some reason, like that's how I interpret it uh, as... There's something to do with wisdom. There's something to do with understanding the truth behind the scenes. There is a wise energy here. Um, a wisdom that is being delivered to you from some situation in life. Something which will help you to up-level spiritually and at the same time, it's gonna help you to uplift other people as well in the future. Okay. I think number nine is significant. Nine, nine, triple nine.
I'm also getting this uh, combination of Ketu and Mars. So maybe some of you have that in your chart. Like I'm getting this Ugra Pravriti, which means aggressive nature. But the message that I'm getting from Krishna is that use your aggressive nature or channel your aggressiveness in the right way. He's definitely giving you strength. I see triple eight on my screen as I'm saying that. So some of you, that's your confirmation. Remember, use your aggressiveness to your advantage. Some of you might have Ketu and Mars uh, combination somewhere in your chart. That's another sign for you. And don't ever think that if you are a spiritual person doesn't mean you can't be aggressive, okay? Sometimes people take it the wrong way. Spiritual doesn't mean going inside a cave and meditating for eternity. Yeah, that's one way of connecting to divine for sure. But spirituality is also about fighting back. Uh, if, if, a, if, a, if someone is trying to put you down again and again, if someone is considering you weak and trying to take advantage by considering you weak, so that's a sign from your Krishna to fight back. There is no way someone can, no one is superior here, okay? We are all the same. No one has the right to make you feel like shit. Or no one has the right to make you feel, oh, you're powerless and you can't do anything. No, no one has the power to do that. We are all equals. No matter what caste you come from, what color, religion, race, Nothing matters. We are all equals. No one is above. No one is below. Okay. I'm getting this feeling. Use your aggression in the right way. Channel it in the right way. Which will benefit you and the people that surround you. Okay. And for some of you, I think you need to stop making excuses. with how the situation is in your life, okay? Sometimes you have to start exactly where you are. You don't have to wait for something to happen. You don't have to wait for coins to fall from the sky to start your goals, like literally speaking. You can still do it. You can still do it on a budget. You can still do it with less resources. Start. Just start. Um, I'm being reminded of a, I, I came across a creator on Instagram once. I think I follow him. I don't remember. Um, he drives, he drives an auto rickshaw and, but he's into fitness. He makes content and that guy has an amazing body, like legit. And he's not even like, I mean, he, he's even below middle class, I'll say. Um, but he maintains a good diet for himself. He, he does hard work all the day and still goes to the gym at night. Okay, so just giving an example. For some reason, I got his image in my mind. So I think that I was supposed to use him as an example to deliver this message. So you don't need a lot to start, just start. Answers will come to you. Resources will come to you. Solutions will come to you. You just have to start it, okay? I'm also hearing charity begins at home. I don't know what that... Maybe some of you might resonate with that phrase that I'm using. Um... I think there's another message here that um, spirituality is not just limited to following certain rituals and rules. Spirituality is beyond that. Spirituality is not about uh, going to the temple and lighting up a candle 
or going to the church and lighting up a candle. <laughs> that's not spirituality. At, I mean, that's, that could be the first step to start, okay? But that's not just about it. It goes beyond rules. It goes beyond rituals. It sometimes goes beyond, you know, logics, okay? So some of you are mistaken or you are being reminded that don't limit yourself with just rituals and rules. That way you're actually entering into another matrix. You have to come beyond that. There are no rules, okay? So it's like, He's giving you a wake-up call here. This cup speaks a lot of wisdom to me. Like how in the battlefield, Krishna gives lessons to Arjuna. Like I'm channeling that form of Krishna here. Like, a Krishna, like the form of Krishna who is a teacher, who is a spiritual guru. So I think may, maybe many of you, you're attracting a guru in your life. Or you are being guided towards some kind of wisdom that can help you to up level so take those signs and recognize those signs okay i'm also channeling the matsya avatar of vishnu uh, matsya avatar was the fish avatar that vishnu took in order to save the old vedas the vedic texts uh, that was his avatar that he took to save uh, the rishis and the sages and to save our Vedas. So there's something to do with wisdom for sure, okay? You are being guided towards some kind of deep knowing, deep knowledge. Probably you feel drawn to reading certain texts, certain books. Go ahead. Don't doubt it, okay? Um yeah, and, and there is this message of um, focusing on growth. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me see if I can uh, channel something from the image. Hmm. I think some of you, there's something to do with the fluids you consume because I'm seeing this as the kidneys. Like that's how I'm seeing it. Like when I was focusing here, um, I think there's something to do with fluid consumption. So make sure if you're drinking too much of sugary drinks, then control that, like keep a check on that. Um, or if probably this is about your drinking habits, then you need to regulate that is something I'm getting. Okay, let me get the image. The moment I saw this image, I like fell in love with it. I was like, wow. <laughs> so beautiful. There could be something to do with sunflowers because my eyes keep going to these yellow flowers, okay? I think these are sunflowers or whichever that is. There could be something to do with yellow flowers or sunflowers in specific. Probably this is a sign for someone watching me. I'm also getting this feeling you're you're about to come across a wise person. I keep getting this feeling, okay? Like the Hierophant energy. Or probably you're going to meet a person who is going to give you a sign. Like you'll, you'll be very clear about the sign that this is a sign from Krishna. Like the sign will be so evident to you. Like, wow, you know? Sometimes... The energies will talk to you through some people, strangers. It happens, okay? Um, I think you're about to come across an experience like that or there will be a wise person that 
just comes and talks to you or gives you something in 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 the way of conversation and you're like wow i never thought about that there could be a change of perspective that happens I'm getting this message that you have to do it for the highest good. You know, sometimes we are hurt, but we have to still get up and keep going because there are people in our life or there are people surrounding us who need you. This could be your family, this could be your friends, this, this could be in general people surrounding you who genuinely, they need you, okay? Who genuinely need your light, who genuinely need to see you as the example, okay? Um, maybe you have a family who is dependent on you or there's someone who's dependent on you. So sometimes, you know, you have to do it for the love of other people. Sometimes you have to get back up and start doing things because you also have to serve someone. Now, please don't take me in the wrong way when I say that. I'm not talking about people who take advantage of you. I'm not talking about people who manipulate you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who genuinely need you. In their time of need, you are like that divine blessing that pours into their lap, okay? So sometimes what you do serves an, as an example to other people. Sometimes you standing up and becoming the voice for other people can mean a lot. If someone is not that capable to fight and you fight for them, so that could be your purpose as well. You not only fight for your own problems, but probably people that surround you, okay? You can be their voice. So this is something I'm metaphorically speaking, but probably it, since it's a collective reading, it can be different scenarios. Say, for example, your sibling is suffering because of some kind of family drama. Maybe you can be their savior, as simple as that. You can take a stand for your sibling, uh, maybe your younger sister, your younger brother. You can become, you can take a stand and you can help them where they're struggling with. Probably they're facing some issues with family. In general, you can be their guide. Okay, you can you can probably help them for something. They might not be mentioning it to you very evidently, but isn't it your responsibility to be a guide to your younger sister or brother? If like to your capacity, whatever you can do. Like I'm just giving an example here. So, yeah. Okay, let me start with the cards now. Okay, let's start with this one. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you, dear Krishna. Okay, he's already giving me this. And I'm also getting this message that unless and until you learn to save yourself, how are you going to help others? First, you have to save yourself. First, you have to understand how you can pull out your own self from a dark situation or from something that's detrimental to your growth. First, you are the one who's supposed to learn. You save yourself first. 
in the drowning waters and then you can help others, right? So for some of you, that is also the message that I'm getting. For some of you, I think there's something to do with, I keep channeling this energy of siblings. So uh, probably for many of you, this is about a sibling relationship, your brother, your sister, uh, something to do with the family dynamic here, uh, because that's what I'm channeling very strongly. Let's take this. Or probably you are being asked to learn from your sibling. Maybe your sibling, again, uh, take how this message resonates, it's collective. Probably you need to learn some kind of quality that your sibling possesses. Uh, maybe your sibling is a very patient person. Maybe you both are going through the same situation. Say, for example, your f there is something related to a family drama going on, but the way your sibling reacts and the way you react is different. So maybe you can learn something from him or her, okay? Maybe for some of you, that's the one of the messages you need to hear. Okay, I already got two. Okay, two. Oh, sorry. I'll take one more. Thank you. Oh, okay. So let's start with this one. I'm starting with this, okay? Oh, come on, man. I literally mentioned the energy of the Hierophant a while back. Hierophant. King of Wands. Some of you, you are definitely attracting a masculine energy with the Hierophant and the King of Wands. Uh, that's going to give you the solution to your issue or they're going to give you some kind of perspective into the situation, okay? Which is going to help you to move forward. Six of Swords. Yeah, the Devil. Something is definitely having a hold on your thinking, on your mental health it seems yeah nine of pentacles and three of pentacles with this intervention with this help or with this wise interaction with this person you're gonna have a change in perspective that's gonna make you feel free with the nine of pentacles you're gonna feel independent of the situation because there's the devil 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 is something that has a hold on you devil means something that you're not able to let go of in simple words, if I put it. But here are the energies of nine of pentacles, which means you're independent. You have let gone of that. No, nothing is having a hold on you, okay? You're thriving in your own energy. And with three of pentacles, you should definitely have help, okay, your way. All right, let's take this. Wow, the magician. And then you got the four of cups. Interesting energy. Yeah. With this, I'm also getting a feeling the devil and the four of cups. Um, someone is really trying hard to manipulate you, but they're not able to, like, they'll not be able to do it. For some of you, this has already started. Probably someone is trying to again and again, like, manipulate you, get a hold of you. Like, someone might be trying to do this. This could be a person from your past. Like this person might have started trying to get a hold of you again. Like, how can I control this person again? How can I make them less confident? Something is definitely intimidating the other person or people. This could be people from your past, okay? Uh, this person is not able to get hold of you. Like they are just trying hard to, you know, put you into that box again. But I don't think so. You are getting in that box again. You are really independent. 
for some of you this is something i'm channeling with your past for some of you this is happening in your present and again for some of you this is what lies ahead of you it's a collective reading so take as per your situation so in case you're wondering if this person is going to again control you and will this person be able to impact you i don't think so because you're independent now you understand you have a different perspective for many of you this hierophant energy can represent you you have come out wise on the other side of the tunnel you have learned your lesson well and it's easier for you to now manifest big changes in your life with the magician being present here okay wow i love this energy this combination of nine of pentacles and magician here yeah okay so you got the ring interesting you got wow hanuman the monkey god uh capacity to persevere uh physical strength and fighting ability i think i kept talking about this energy no wonder i was channeling mars because hanuman is related to mangal is related to mars superhuman power to accomplish the acts of service and ability to increase one's attitude of love in performing selfless service i think i already gave you all of these messages it's it's a confirmation thank you spirits and for some of you probably you work with the energy of hanuman you pray to him or something then that's your sign again with his presence in the reading and the last card we have is balram the wielder of the plow uh protection and loyalty brotherly love and service wow i kept on talking about siblings interesting energy spiritual moral strength and freedom from the evils of intoxication for some of you this devil oh my god sorry for, for some of you with this combination of devil and four of cups maybe some of you it's talking about your some kind of consumption habits i think a while back i did mention about your drinking habits or what kind of fluids you intake so i think you're improving that your understanding uh like how it's impacting your health and you're making changes in that for some of you it's related to health i want to get a card on the i'm so sorry guys i moved the <laughs> i will get a card on the ring why is it here ring the the moment i'm looking at that card it's giving me a feeling like um uh, something is becoming more stable something is becoming more solid in your life wow okay that card flew out i just noticed the empress yeah um i think with this ring being clarified by the empress card uh it's it's giving you a confirmation that you're heading into more settled times you're heading into times of financial abundance you're heading into times of prosperity that's your confirmation here interesting i'll take one more card for the ring can we get any more message with regards to that thank you spirits wow interesting i love that guys this is a confirmation for you you're heading into more settled times because you know what again at the bottom nine of pentacles so nine of pentacles this energy is twice in your reading you're definitely heading into very settled times okay and abundance is gonna be like your lifestyle okay the card the other one was king of cups the energy of a masculine is so heavy in your reading and i'm also getting this feeling that for many of you you are attracting someone like this in your life or you are getting the help from a masculine figure in your life for some of you this is about uh finally coming in good terms with your brother your father or because we have the masculine energy so uh this can be in the form of a partner um uh, a friend you make okay something like that so a masculine that is going to definitely 
be of some kind of help and someone who actually gives you wise uh, advice, okay? Someone who helps you to make better decisions for yourself, choose better for yourself, okay? This this masculine energy is going to inspire you to better yourself, okay? That's for sure. I can see. Like, do you see how many cards you have with the masculine energy? You have the Hierophant, King of Wands, King of Cups. And again, these two masculine deities coming up. I mean, this is so strong. It's like you'll be truly able to relax in your feminine energy. You'll truly be able to embrace your divine feminine with the help of this uh, energy or person entering your life. Interesting. So thank you so much, group number one. This is going to be your reading. I'm going to leave you here with your messages. And I will see you again on my channel with another topic, another video. Bye-bye and take care. Hello, group number two. Whosoever chose this beautiful image or this cup, this is going to be your reading. So I'm going to keep it on the side for now, the image. And then let's start with the cup. I'm very strongly channeling the image of Hermit card in my head. And probably some of you are Virgo or that placement is significant to you. So that's a sign for you to go with that this message is for you. But I'm also channeling the Hermit card very strongly. So it could have something to do with it. We will see as we go along in the reading, okay? Hmm, interesting. This time I offered a offered sorry this time i have ordered a different coffee and hmm, it's a little thick you know how i'm seeing this like this this representation in the cup you see that i'm seeing this as like two mountains okay and like there are two mountains in front of you okay that's how i'm seeing it and you are confused like should i go this way or should i go that way how am i going to find a middle ground with something is like that's the feeling probably i'm channeling For some of you, it's about choosing that mountain to climb. Like both are not going to be easy for you. Like whatever path that is, it's not going to be easy because climbing a mountain is not easy. But you're like, which one to choose actually? Which one should I go with first? Or which one should I actually go with? For some of you, this talks about probably a confusion that you're having in your mind right now. Or if probably you have already made the decision, you have chosen. You're like, did I make the right choice? Probably you're questioning your path right now. Uh, for some of you, that could be something. I'm also listening, uh, like I'm also getting this, uh, that don't look for shortcuts. There's no shortcut. You can't. You can't skip the lessons you're meant to learn. For some of you, I'm also channeling the wolf spirit. So you might resonate with that energy. Could work as a confirmation for maybe some of you. I'm also getting the vision of a camel in my head. Camel is the animal that reminds me of perseverance and patience. You know, the energy is little opposite here than group number one. Uh, the group number one energy was more like, get up, fight. Don't just sit back and look at it. But here the energy seems like now it's not the time to fight. You need to sit back and do whatever you're doing in silence. You don't have to show. You don't have to get validation. You don't have to prove your point to people right now. Right now is not the... See, there's always a time to, you know, sometimes you have to do the planning behind the scenes 
and take your time behind the scenes to prepare yourself. And then comes the time to go up there and fight, right? So, so I think here the energy is more like the hermit. Probably that's why I was channeling the card of hermit in my mind. That right now it's time for you to work in silence. Don't make a lot of noise. Don't let people know your business. Don't let people know. Let them misunderstand you. Let them think you're crazy. Let them think, oh, you are too much arrogant. You, are, you don't give them time and whatever that shit is. The feeling I'm channeling here is that work in silence. It's not the time for you to make, your, make noise and you know, answer back to people right now. Do your thing and until and unless it gets to a solid point, don't open your mouth about it is what I'm getting. Keep doing it and keep doing it every day, whatever, you, that, whatever that is. It's a collective reading, so take how it resonates. I'm also channeling the energy of Chhatrapati Shivaji. I don't know if some of you, like, you have something. Maybe that's a sign for someone out here watching me. I keep getting the alphabet S. S could have some significance. I'm also hearing SK Industries. I don't know what that means. I literally saw a nameplate like that, SK. Probably it was something written like that. I'm getting the vision of a scorpion. Hmm. Okay. There's nothing. <clears throat> There's not much happening in your cup, okay? And I'm being reminded of the... I'm being reminded of the story of the alchemist, the book. Um, hmm. There's also something to do with some kind of spiritual abilities is what I'm getting. Like there's something to do with uh, you recognizing your abilities, you recognizing your inner strength like inner power when it comes to um i think some of you it's talking about your sacral chakra uh the chakra that inspires creativity uh the chakra that talks about your desire to create okay <clears throat> i'm also getting something to do with october the month of october is going to be strong uh, like when it comes to some kind of change you're manifesting in your life uh the month of october seems like you're going to manifest a big change in your life by that time or some important uh, decision that you'll have to take in the month of October. I think for many of you, this this is a like a sign for you. 
some of you it can uh, it can be about movement you're physically moving like you're literally making a decision to just move out of the place you're right now I'm also hearing keep it low key um yeah there's something about hush hush you know like there's something like yeah cut it short don't talk a lot about it uh some of you i think you're about to be blessed with some kind of uh for some of you this is a blessing in home i keep channeling this like you're getting the keys to a new place keys to a new apartment house or something like that or you are you're getting some kind of means that's making your life easy so i don't know if you're expecting to buy a car then yeah expect it you're having it you will have it soon uh for some of you it's about home for some of you it's about uh probably purchasing a place for your say for example you start your work you are looking for a place okay for your work then yeah that is also another thing um but i'm getting this feeling that keep your mouth shut okay <laughs> This message is very strong in your reading. You see what else? I think for some of you it's also talking about a glow up because the way I'm when I was seeing I was focusing on his face okay this image I think some of you it's talking about some kind of transformation about the way you look because For some of you this transformation is coming in because of some kind of spiritual practices you will be drawn to do okay and this action this is actually changing the way you look you can literally change like people may not believe this but you can literally change the way you look by mantras by by doing certain spiritual practices you can literally change the way you look okay so i'm getting this feeling for many of you there is definitely a change in the way you look you're manifesting some kind of change with your glow up and people are going to definitely notice it it's going to bring you good opportunities in life it's a part of the plan is what i'm getting the glow up is a part of the plan because the way you glow it's going to attract the right kind of people right opportunities towards you okay you will be put on the pedestal to be seen but for now i think it's it's take it will take a bit of time here so for many of you i think it's about 2 3 months that it is speaking about for the another two say for example like 2 months 2 3 months um keep preparing is what i'm getting in the behind the shadows keep preparing don't stop because you're about to be presented with that opportunity and that platform where you will showcase yourself your skills or you will get the opportunity to come forward and show to the world what you were actually doing all this time behind the scenes so yeah that's your message i feel again this is a collective reading so apply as per the situation you are in let's start with your messages with the cards the energy of the high priestess is what i'm channeling with your uh, pile very strongly let's see yep see the first card itself oh my god <laughs> this is exactly what i'm talking about the whole time seven of wands um putting up healthy boundaries focusing on going inside yeah you know what uh, if you're having a lot of anxiety and depression right now or like 
you know, it's hard for you to focus. It's hard for you to, you feel as if everything is just falling apart. Just a minute. So the thing here is that right now practicing detachment is really going to help you. And maybe you're focusing on, like if you're resonating with what I'm saying right now, okay, that you're not able to, like you are having a lot of anxiety, you're not able to sleep at night and all that stuff. Because you know what? I'll give you an example to put the point forward. See, no matter how many lotions you apply on your body, no matter, no matter how many chemicals you apply, no matter how many oils and scrubs and blah, blah, blah you apply on your body, it may work for a while. But unless and until you give the right kind of nutrients inside your body, it's not going to last long. So first, it starts from your inside. When from your inside, you're feeding your body nicely, correctly, you don't need anything external to feed you, validate you. Okay, this is something I'm metaphorically speaking with the example to put my point across that instead of trying to fix everything around you one by one, that's only going to bring you anxiety and chaos. Why don't you fix something from your inside? Anyways, let's see. Wow, that's coming out flying. Ten of Swords. Yeah, beautiful energy. Queen of Pentacles. I'm channeling the energy of Kuber, Lord Kuber. I don't know if you guys do Kuber Mantra here or you practice Kuber Mudra or something because I'm channeling his energy. Some of you, you need to clear, when I'm seeing there's a contrast here, Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, I think it's talking about your blockages with money mindset. So, yeah, look, um, Ace of Pentacles, <clears throat> the big break you're looking for, I think you guys are definitely clearing out some kind of blockages with your money mindset, and that's helping you to attract this major breakthrough with your finances. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I think the month of October is going to be significant. The time around the fall season, I think that's going to be significant um, when it comes to manifesting this major beginning. Oh, what? That came out flying. Oh, my God. And you have, like, what? King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, what? <laughs> I think for some of you, it's like, wow, everything is getting settled at once, you know? With your love life, with your money, with your house, with your uh, whatever that is, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm noticing something in these two cards. Do you see something? Look, like as if these two are having telepathic conversation, like this guy is smiling and she has a smile with her closed eyes. It's as if these two are telepathically communicating with each other. And I was talking about a wolf energy and look what you have here. Okay, this, this looks like a wolf to me. Um, listen, you guys are definitely, for many of you, this is about everything settling in once. Like. Like for a moment there, you were, okay, okay, now I get this. There, I'm being connected back to the message I started in your reading with the cup of the two mountains. I think for some of you, you guys were confused between probably your career and love life. You were like, dude, where do I start? Should I focus on my love life first? Should I get this sorted first? Or should I focus on the career part? So I think for many of you, the message here is, 
it's actually getting settled all in once. You will get it all in once. For some reason, when I'm looking at these two cards, that's how I feel. Yeah, see, you got the card of judgment. You'll have it all in once is what I'm getting. But for that, one message that I'm very strongly getting is you need to stop blaming people for whatever happened. Forgive and move on. Okay? Uh, you need to find that forgiveness in your heart about some kind of situation that didn't go as per your wishes. So release. Release the resentment you hold in case you are holding on to some kind of resentment with a situation or a person of the past. You need to let go of that resentment. Remember, this is for your own uh, good, okay? I don't know. I'm hearing a package is about to be delivered. So I don't know if it is literal. <laughs> you ordered something and you're going to receive it today when you're watching this video. Or this could be metaphorical that, um, oh my God. That came out. Okay. Seven of cups, seven of swords. Yeah. They came out together. I'm channeling the energy of Lord Indra. Lord Indra, I'm channeling his toxic, like the toxic trait of Indra was like, there are a couple of stories where he suffered because of his toxic trait that was ego, uh, considering himself as he can do anything. He He's just superior. So I don't know if you were dealing with a person like that in life who was very arrogant and who thought they can treat you the way they want and they can get your, like they can have access to your energy whenever they want. And, you know, so probably you were recently dealing with a person like that because nine of wands is here as well, which means you really have to withdraw yourself from this energy. You were tired of this egotistical person or this person who was actually trying to, in a way, play with your energy. Because when I'm looking at those cards of seven of cups and seven of swords, it's as if this person would like to pick up and play with you whenever they want. Like, you know, when you bring a toy in your house and whenever you want, you just pick up and start playing with it. Like, maybe this person was doing this to you or this group of people were doing this to you. Like, whenever they want to entertain, they will come in and when they have nothing to do with it, they're just going to leave, irrespective of how you feel, not caring about how you are feeling in the situation, what you expect out of them, okay? Okay. So I think this is about cutting out someone egotistical and forgiving, the, forgiving them and letting them go for the good. Because this is what lies ahead of you. Look, this so, if this sounds like something that has happened to you in the recent past, then yeah, oh my God, look at... Okay, come on, people, I don't make things up. Okay, I don't make things up. And when I'm saying that, I have literal goosebumps, okay? When I'm, I'm, I'm literally like not making things up. You got the two of cups, okay, at the bottom. And look what came out flying. You got the six of wands and you got the ace of wands. A new passionate beginning. And you remember I told you literally a couple of minutes back while reading your cup that you will be given that, uh, that platform, metaphorically speaking, that stage where you will get the opportunity to show yourself uh, to people, to show your skills, to get that attention you always wanted. So take how that resonates. For some of you, this is about more recognition in your work, more recognition when it comes to your skills, okay, your abilities, um, uh, uh, more ad like people addressing your emotions, people addressing your needs, okay. Uh, for some of you, this is also about having more options when it comes to your love life, okay? And I keep getting this feeling that you're going to settle all in once, like everything is going to happen all in once, okay? Um, your career will be getting better Then at the same time, I think your love life is going to be sorted. I think you will be the kind of person who is going to be blessed in all areas of life, all in once, okay? Like for this long, nothing was happening. 
you felt it was getting dried up everywhere, like in all areas of your life. But I think it's going to pour in. The rain is coming in all areas of your life, okay? The rain is pouring in. Amazing energy. Two of cups. Wow. You're going to be adored and loved by people. There's a lot of attention coming your way. If you were missing this for a while, you felt like, dude, does, even, does anyone even want me out here? Like, you know, in general, you have a lot of attention coming. Hmm. Are you serious right now? I cut the deck. This is a, another different tarot deck I was picking up to just get a more couple of cards. Another six of wands. Okay, this is like, you are going to have attention in your breakfast, okay? Just saying. <laughs> There's so much attention and focus on you here. Like, that's your breakfast, that's your lunch, that's your dinner. Okay, come on. Seriously, the cards are repeating. Nine of wands again and king of pentacles again, okay? You're going to meet someone who is literally a provider energy. And wow, someone who matches the level, your, your level, okay? Hmm. Uh, this also says that probably this person is going to be someone who does some kind of either business. Of course, if you're expecting to, you know, um, you're expecting to be with someone, you're expecting a potential in your love life, then this message is for you. You're attracting a person who is definitely more stable with their finances, could be a businessman, could be they do something of their own. Uh, earth sign energy is very heavy in your reading. I started with the Virgo placement in the beginning, I remember. Let me take other cards. Oh my God. There are too many. I keep channeling the energy of Indra, Lord Indra. I, okay, see, guys, I'm not gonna say, I'm not making things up. <laughs> you got the mountain card. Your reading started with this energy, right? Uh, is it focusing? Hello? Yeah. Your reading started with the mountain, you remember? Do you notice something in the, uh, this, this person is standing here alone. Like this person has already reached here. <laughs> this is also a sign for many of you, the current obstacle you have. You're about to get victory on that obstacle because six of wands is also the card of victory. So this is your sign. You're going to have victory on your obstacle, whatever that is. You got the tear. With this card, I am getting the message of forgiveness. Forgive. Oh, okay. I'll take one more. Bottom you have, I'm going to take this, I'm drawn to. So bottom you had Mahadev Shiva. Uh, sexual prowess, union with a good marriage partner. Uh, detachment from life's unexpected changes. Yeah, detachment. Forgiving and detaching from something that caused you a lot of pain. Yeah, this message of detachment is so strong. Looking away from your past. Detaching from your past. Sorry. Uh, numerous benefits from worldly enjoyment to liberation. Uh, let me keep it here.
Okay. You got Kurma, the tortoise avatar. Diplomacy, ability to provide support, steadiness, dependability, and skills to manage contradictory forces. Wow. Kalki, the destroyer of Iron Age. Um, strength in adversity, overcoming arguments. Uh, determination in combating uh, evil and ex escaping the negative influence of the age of Kali. Wow. Hmm. It's as if you're mastering the art of detachment. For some of you, I think you might be, because Shiva is the, literally, Shiva is the symbolism of detachment. So maybe you work with some form of Shiva and this is blessing you with the ability of detachment, the ability of that hermit, you know. The reason why I kept channeling that energy, this like speaks through your cards again and again. Kamdev, the god of love. Wow. <laughs> Freedom from desire. Success in love or romance, uh, enhanced sexual performance, and ability to amuse and make people laugh. Come on. No wonder with the Six of Wands. This is another confirmation. Um, people are going to naturally feel very attracted to you. I think I did talk about the glow up energy as well. People are naturally just going to feel so attracted to you. You're throwing off this Queen of Pentacle vibes. Queen of Pentacles is also, uh, it in a way, it represents Ma Lakshmi energy. And Goddess Lakshmi, uh, like if you have the blessings of Lakshmi, she can give you a lot of like glow up energy. Because practicing Lakshmi mantras, it actually enhances the magnetism of a person. So, hmm, interesting. Let me see if I'm missing something. No, that's about it. Okay, so group number two, this will be a reading. And uh, yep, I'm going to see you again with another video, another topic. Take good care of yourselves and have an amazing month ahead of you. So bye-bye.